thank you to everyone for coming here today and attending our Latera Foundation integration session. We've created this integration in partnership with, with Latera to help law firms access widely used foundation data on the go through a mobile solution. However, if you are non-legal, this presentation is also for you. It's a great example of our integration capabilities and the options we have available to you. Now, really quickly, a little bit about us. I'm your host for today, Jillian. I'm an account executive here at Fliplet coming to you live from Miami. And with me, I have our amazing Barbara, who's a customer success executive here at Fliplet, coming to you live from Canada. So we're bringing a little bit of the heat from Miami, unfortunately, a little bit of the cold from Canada, and hopefully we got things just right for today's presentation. A few housekeeping items before we get started. So I am a lawyer, which really means only two things for you. One, I can make lawyer jokes and not offend anyone. And two, it means that I love questions. So if at any point during this presentation, you want to ask us a question, feel free to post a question in the Q&A box located at the screen below. If we don't have time to answer your question at the end of this session, we'll reach out to you individually and give you the responses that you want then. In addition, you can attend our Q&A session at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.30 p.m. UK Time, and you can get your questions answered there by our amazing CRO, Chris. So now on to the fun stuff. So before we show you our demo, it's important for you just to get familiar with our corporate directory solution. So our foundation integration is an extension of our corporate directory. So not only do you have access to information about the people at your firm, but you get the same functionality across matters and clients as well. Now, a few of the key features that you'll be seeing with our corporate directory includes the search and filter contacts functions, which allows you to access information about staff and lawyers at your organization. You can also view contact information. If you want to contact a specific attorney's PA, you can reach out to them, call them directly through the app. And again, the same sort of organization, you can also get for matters and in addition to that for clients. So it's really providing the functionality of our corporate directory across different foundation data. Now, if you thought that our mobile solution couldn't get any better, well, it does. Not only can you access key foundation data through a mobile app, but you can also access that same information through a tablet or a desktop. So whether you're a partner at a client presentation or you need to access contact information quickly in the event of a client or a law firm emergency, you have access to that information in the way that's most convenient for you. Now, a very quick overview of our integration. So the purpose of today's demo is really to show you the art of possibility of what you can do with a Fliplet app while also giving you access to widely used foundation data across people, clients, and matters. So you're, you're never confined to the data that you're going to see today. This is really just a small example of what you can do using a mobile solution to give you access to that key foundation data. Now, one of the dashboards that we'll be showing you is people. So you'll have the ability to build your own dashboards based on foundation data. Today, you'll be seeing information about attorneys and staff. So you'll be able to display complete staff records, time by industry, number of matters, and number of clients. But again, you can always customize. So for example, you can create additional graphs such as work allocation and industry experience for a specific attorney if you wish to do that. In addition to being able to see information about people, you'll also be able to see information about specific matters. So again, you can show uh, top timekeepers for a specific matter. You can filter matters by industry and type and bookmark as well. You can provide information about narratives. You can actually edit the narratives directly through your phone and send that information back to foundation. Um, you can also receive reminder notifications if, for example, there's a specific narrative that you want to edit while you're on the go and come back to it later. Lastly, we will be showing you a dashboard for um, clients where, again, you'll be able to see total billed hours. 
um, you'll be able to see your total billings for a specific client, identify revenue opportunities. And again, we'll be showing you related matters and staff as well. So this is really all about giving you access to that key foundation data that you want while you're on the go. Now on to the best part, which is Barbara with our demo. As you explained it, in this demo app we have created, um, we integrated our app, our corporate directory solution with foundation, extending the functionality in our directory app with foundation data. We connect to foundation via their secure API and data is retrieved in real time directly from foundation. Your app doesn't need to use the data in the exact same way we will demo here. Everything I will show can be customized for your needs. Please keep in mind that we don't have access to a real foundation instance. We only have access to a demo instance. So all the data here is made up. However, we do have the ability to map your data with your app. So if you're interested in displaying different information from foundation, that is completely fine. Now let's take a look at the app. So this here is our home screen. From this menu at the top, users can easily access people data in the directory. They can also view information about offices, departments, committees, and more. These are all built-in functionality in our directory solution template. In this demo app, we have added a couple more shortcuts here that will make uh, that will take the user to screens containing matters and client information. I will now open the people directory to show you the foundation data and what we have done with it in this demo app. So in the directory screen here at the top, users can use the search bar to easily find people they are looking for. They can also sort the list. Here in our example, we are enabling the user to sort based on first name, last name, and office, but we can customize it. They can also use the filter options here to uh, view people in a specific department, country based on expertise, and so on. These filters can also be customized. So if you want other filters to be available, we can change that for you. Besides that, users can easily bookmark people here in the directory, and they can easily click on this button here to view all their bookmarked uh, people. Now, let me open Vanessa's profile here to show you um, the data that we are displaying that is coming from foundation. So at the top here, you can see her full name, job title, department or practice group information and office. Then we have a few icons that users can click to easily perform some actions such as email or calling Vanessa. In, uh, after that, we have all the information about Vanessa, including the data that is coming from foundation. So in our directory solution, we separated the people data in three different tabs, contact, about, and private. But this view here can be completely customized according to your needs. So we can change the tab names, remove tabs, add new information, and remove information if you don't need it, and so on. On the contact tab here, you'll see that right at the start, we are showing a graph containing her industry experience. This is based on data that we have from matters she worked on. We could also include graphs containing information about matter type, work allocation, history by number of matters and hours, or other information that might be re relevant for your users. If I now scroll down a little bit here, you can see who is Vanessa's legal secretary. And at the bottom, I can see the number of clients and number of matters, which is basically just summarizing how many records you get once you actually click on these buttons here at the bottom to view matters Vanessa has worked on and her clients. Other information we could display here, if you wish, is state bar admissions, court admissions, prior clerkship, and really anything else that you think might be relevant for your users. If I now click on view matters, I will see a list of matters that Vanessa has worked on. This is what we have. So first up, we added a graph at the top. This is customizable. We can show whatever you want. We could see a, the distribution of matters by type or industry, for example, or anything else if you is relevant for your users. We support different types of charts, so pie charts, donut charts, and so on. You can tell us which one you want and what information you want us to display, and we can customize this for you. After that, we have a list of matters that Vanessa has worked on. Again, users can search, filter, bookmark, and sort, and the filter search and sorting can be configured according to your needs. So if you want to allow users to search matter by name, by number, for example, that is possible. You could also have filters based on the matter type, industry, matter status, and so on. When it comes to the matters themselves, we are displaying a few things that are coming from foundation. So we have here the matter name, number, uh, type at the top. We also have here the client name, and we could link this to the client data if you want. So when users click on the client name, they can see the details about, about that client. We also have total billing hours here, the open date, last time entry, and more. If I scroll down a bit, you can see here a list of the timekeepers. 
We can also enhance this to enable people to click on the names to easily open the timekeeper's profiles in the directory. We can also customize this to show other people if necessary. So for example, you might want to show uh, the matter lead, billing attorney or originating attorney. Also here in the detail view, we have the narratives. You can click on the accordion to expand and view more. And also we can also allow users to add narratives from the app if you wish. So by integrating foundation with the Flip app, we enable users not only to easily access matter information, but also add data very easily from their phones if desired. Now, let me go back to Vanessa's profile here. And what I want to show here, the last part from Vanessa's profile is what happens when we click on the view clients button. So if I click here, I can see all of Vanessa's clients. Again, we added this the graph here at the top, just a sample graph, which we can customize to show any information you want. So if you want to view the distribution of clients by primary industry, for example, or clients by groups, that is possible. And similar to the matter screen, we have here a list of the clients so that you can sort, search, filter, and bookmark. If you want, we can add client logos here on the side as well, if this is information that you have on your foundation instance. Now, let me show you uh, what we have here about the clients. So here we are displaying the client primary industry, open date, last time entry date, and total hours. Other information we could include uh, are client numbers, client description, primary client lead information, including roles and hours, client status. In other words, this, can, this view can be completely customized with data you think is important for your app and your users. Finally, I can click here on view matters to view information about matters related to this client specifically. We could also add in a button to show people that work with this client as well, if you wish. Now, just very quick, let me go back to the home screen just to show you the difference of uh, clicking on the buttons here, the matters and client buttons. So it is the same view. We can have like the same data displayed about matters, but in this case here, we are just so, showing a full list of matters instead of filtering it based on matters Vanessa worked on and the same thing for the clients. So this is what I wanted to show you today, really the art of the possible, summing up having foundation data in the Flip app. You users can easily access data from their mobile devices. They can bookmark uh, favorite data for quick access. You can customize the data that is available to suit your instance of foundation. So you can really like do a lot with it. You can sign up and use uh, the directory template immediately on fliplet.com. And if you wish to know more about the foundation integration, you can always contact us. Back to you, Jillian. Well, we hope you enjoyed our session today. If you have any questions for us, again, you can attend the Q&A at 1130 Eastern Standard Time, 430 UK time. Feel free to also email us, send us a message on LinkedIn, contact us, do all the things. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have for us. Next up, we have Nick with our InfoSec update. He'll tell you all about security and compliance. Over to you, Nick.